if we have a free society, we can go about our business and do our very best, work toward virtuous things and, make, and work toward excellence. When government takes over the role of making us virtuous and making us excellent and redistributing the wealth, they only do it at the expense of liberty. And that's why we're in such terrible shape today is because we've allowed the government to be so much involved. Government should never be able to do anything you can't do. If, if you can't steal from your neighbor, you can't send the government to your neighbor to steal for you. There should be no redistribution of wealth. The exciting, the exciting things that are happening today and gets me energized is coming to events like this and meeting with the young people and going to the campuses and finding a lot what young Americans for Liberty have done. And believe me, the ideas and the principles of liberty are alive and well in the next generation and there's every reason in the world for us to be optimistic about what's coming. I would like to make one, one suggestion before I close that uh, just to think about because uh, it's not a perfect solution, but especially the young people. What if I could, if I had the authority to do it, what if I could offer you and say, look, we're not doing such a good job in government these days. We make promises and we don't know about the future. But would you consider opting out of the whole system under one condition? You pay 10% of your income, but you take care of yourself. Don't ask the government for anything. Tra tragically, Tragically, you're probably going to have the opportunity because government is in the process of failing and they can't deliver on the goods just as the Soviets couldn't deliver the goods and maintain their own power. We will have those same problems domestically and we face serious economic problems as this dollar crisis evolves. But let me close with uh, comments from uh, uh, Sam Adams. He says, uh, don't worry about it if we're not a majority. All we need is a minority keen on spreading the, uh, the uh, brush fires of liberty in the minds of men. That is what we need to do. And believe me, the brush fires are burning. They will not be able to squelch the uh, brush fire. They're, blue, they're burning and they're spreading and people are getting excited because they're starting to separate it out, what true liberty is all about, what market liberty, personal liberty is, and what it means in foreign policy, what it means in our traditions, the American tradition, what it means because the Constitution confirms and, and confers with what I'm saying. There is no authority in the Constitution to have a Federal Reserve system, no authority for the welfare state, and no authority for the police state. It's not there. So we should, we should all assume personal responsibility for promoting the ideals of liberty. And one thing that uh, Samuel Johnson always advised when they were in the dire consequences of the uh, problems of the revolution. He said, we cannot present long faces to the, or to the people, the colonists at that time, because it will make them realize how tough things are. So we should not have long faces. We do not know exactly what tomorrow will bring, but I do know that the effort is worthwhile, and I do know that you can have a lot of fun defending liberty, and believe me, if you understand liberty and realize it's the only humanitarian system that existed ever on mankind, I tell you what, if you learn about it, study it, promote free market economics, and fight for this, I can guarantee you, you will sleep better at night, you will enjoy your life, and you will feel like you're doing something worthwhile. Defend liberty!